Hi guys, welcome back to another tutorial video. In today's video, just a quick video, if you use Adobe Photoshop before or if you are still using Adobe Photoshop, some of you might be wondering, is there skill or distort feature in Affinity Photo? Because as you can see, there is no transform option in edit menu and you can only find flip and rotate options in arrange menu so the answer is no there's no skill or distort feature in affinity photo but there are some tools and filters that is similar to how skill and distort work in affinity photo so in this video i will show you the tools and filters that is similar to skill and distort in affinity photo okay so without any further ado let's get started so I'm going to use this photo that I download on Unsplash as an example. Okay, and I will make a text here. Okay, so the first tool you can use is perspective tool that you can find right here. So just click on it to use it or you can go to layer new live filter layer distort and perspective this is live filter so you can change the value later or you can also go to filters distort and perspective okay so just click on this to use it and just like in photoshop you just need to drag the points the key points to change the perspective of the object like this if you change the plans from single plan to dual plan okay now the object will split into two sides so when you change the perspective of this side it won't affect this side okay I will go back to single plane and when you change the mode from destination to source now if you change the perspective of the object it won't affect the object okay so I'll go back to destination and change the direction the perspective of this object After we have done, click apply. And the other tool you can use is mass warp tool, uh, just like warp tool in Adobe Photoshop. Just drag it, but it kind of different from scale and distort because it changed the object set as well. And next, when you move your mouse cursor to the edges of this object box the cursor will change into this dual arrow which is uh, when you drag it up or down it just like skill feature in photoshop as you can see not just this side but this side as well okay so this this is just like skill let me add a shadow to make it look more realistic by duplicating this text and change the perspective then I will reduce the opacity like this ok now it's better and I can also make it uh, looks like 3D by duplicating this layer and move it okay now it looks more realistic as you can see and I want to tell you one more thing if you ask someone about skill or distort feature in affinity photo 
some of them may recommend you to use sure feature let me make another text to use it as an example so that filters can be found in filters distort and sure okay but i think this sure filters is different from how skill and distort work okay so you can change the direction by dragging the key points just like before but it's not exactly change the shape of the text as you can see and you can also make a curve line so if you want to use Q or distort feature in affinity photo what i really recommend is to use perspective tool which is the easiest way okay so that's it for this video i hope you enjoy and learn something new from this video hit the like button if you like this video don't forget to subscribe if you haven't already and i will see you guys in the next video Bye.